guys, Ian Anderson, Kevin Jones, Central Coast Disc Golf, and we are back for the final nine holes of the 2019 Beaver State Fling presented by Keen. Eagle had a four-stroke lead going in. He's still got it. Sepp going to chase him down. He's got nine holes left to do it. Yeah, both of these guys are playing pretty decent rounds right now, but um, it's still in either one of their hands to, to take it away. The beautiful thing about Milo McIver is the birdies are, are not easy. There are not many gimmies out there, so every birdie you get really affects your play in the tournament. It does, it, and they really count big time. Uh, there is that four-stroke lead for Eagle. AJ and Rick are lurking, but they're pretty much out of the lead at this point with nine to go. Yeah, it's tough to say yeah. that they would have a chance, but they're still fighting for third place. Oh, like, yeah. Third place is, is they're in it already. Yep, they're battling. Hole 10, what's the play, Kev? The play is throw to the left, and as simple as it sounds, these guys are going to be throwing really hard shots on hyzers that they know can't flip too far to the right um seppo for example well let's see rick first rick's gonna have a stable destroyer got that new mexico flag on there never had a chance never was that moving to the right it was on hyzer the whole way and he is in scoring position scoring position and a half like that's an awesome drive that's unbelievable man on a hyzer the whole time? What? He, it's un, yeah, it's hard to understand. Rick's disc is flying with so much velocity there that it, you cannot see it on, on film right now. This it, year, he's throwing farther than I've ever seen him throw before. Yes. With uh, his backhand especially. He is 100%. Seppo with a very smart, safe drive here. Seppo going, what is that actually? X1 or D1? That, was it blue? Yeah. That's an X1. Okay, yeah. so he's really not messing with the OB right, right? now. Yeah. Because usually I feel like he would throw that green D1, try to get some nice solid distance, but uh, he's, he's not messing around right now. Man, look at this gallery out here. Big time shot, massive hyzer, eagle also not messing with the OB. What disc do you think that is? I want to, is it a PD2? I think it's a PD2. It yeah. definitely wasn't a cloud breaker. Yeah, he doesn't want to mess with that OB. No way. If he threw a cloud breaker, he'd probably go too far. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. We got the Mango Enforcer from AJ. This is his money disc. This is this AJ's disc that he knows he's going to hammer it as hard as he wants, and it's not going to flip. He can trust this thing. It is his 100% go-to. And look at him. He does. He throws it flat, similar to Rick. That's more human-like, though. Like yeah. That's where the average person lands, um, right around that tree. And this is awkward. This is a tough upshot right here. It is. The average awesome pro, not the average person, Kevin. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good point, Ian. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Isn't that good? Yeah, that's a fantastic shot. Seppo slides it up there. Beautiful. Beautiful. These are huge. This is such a touchy shot. There is a curb on this island, too, so you really got to be yeah. conscious of getting it over that. Yeah, these guys cannot mess with the road. Eagle jump putting. Oh He's got it. That was the sketchy part of the island, though. That, that was for sure sketchy. It's a little bit more narrow there, isn't it? It is. And Rick, you know Rick's trying to make this, right? No way. <laughs> Come on, Rick. You're due for one. Oh. That was a long putt. It was. was it was like uh, 65, I think. It was somewhere. It was right 55, 60, I believe. Yeah. We had the distance up there. I missed it. Yeah. Uh, that is Eagle with a good birdie putt. It wasn't a gimme. This hole, for it's it's a weird hole because when you get a three on it, it's like, wow, that was so easy. But in reality, it's not at all. Like You have to have a, a very well-played drive, but also a disciplined drive. You cannot get excited on this hole. You got to keep your focus. And then even on the upshot as well, you got to keep your focus, make a good upshot, and get on the island. Yeah. You get a little too greedy on this one, and it bites you in a hurry. Real quick. Because you don't get a lot of distance if you go B off the drive, usually. Because you're yeah. flexing over the road, right? Yeah. You usually have to either re tee or 50 feet or so off the box. Yep. Uh, but there is that star frame. Nice to see from the card. Eagle holds onto his four stroke lead. We got eight left to go. Look at a hole 11. Hole 11, a beautiful two shot hole, 690 feet. Most people are throwing a hyzer on their first shot, landing in the gap somewhere, short of the gap maybe. And then if you have it, you'd like to go sidearm. It filters so nicely if you throw a sidearm on this hole to the green. Um, 
but there are options on this hole like this one tree right in front of us you can go left of that if you'd like depending on what's your comfortable shot yeah see how, how greedy you're feeling yeah uh ricky he is throwing a champ destroyer and that's the spot yeah that's a good shot I'm surprised more, I guess a little bit surprised more people don't mess around with throwing like straight to the left or maybe even a sidearm to the left of the tree. Yeah. But it seems like everybody plays this hyzer because maybe it's just that easy. I think it must be. That's the X1 again for Seppo? Yes, that is X1. He's not messing with that, that tree. No, he, he just knows where the X1's going. Like in moments like this, he can really, really trust that disc. Uh, PD2, this is coming out way wide. It is. That's costly. He's out of position right there. Yes, that's why this hole is beautiful for that reason. It takes a well-played shot on the drive to get in scoring position. And a birdie from there is going to be a very hard feat. Yeah, that would be pretty amazing to get a birdie from there. AJ making the other mistake <sighs> you can make on this one, which is going into that tree. Yeah, and we did. We saw the possible errors that can happen and why this hole is a hard birdie. So Eagle looks to be lining up a backhand roller. Is he now? He's stinking is, and that is a decent result for what went on during that shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well put. <laughs> that will end up in a par most likely. Uh, opportunity here for Seppo to get a stroke. Yes, he He's is trusting the backhand, not messing with a sidearm. That's an A2, isn't I thought it? it was, yep. I heard them talking about this shot. Seppo. There's no disc that flies like that. Matteo's pumped right now because that's Seppo's caddy on tour right now. Unfortunately, didn't expect to even be here, so he couldn't sign up in time. It's like Dustin Johnson caddying for like Jordan Spieth. Yeah, it is. You know, it's like, <laughs> what kind of cool advantage is that? A huge advantage. Matteo is an awesome hype man, but also a valuable caddy. He's yeah. he's very he's good on the bag. I asked Matteo in the round, like, how much is Matteo worth on the bag? How many strokes? He's like, 1.75. <laughs> <laughs> The man's a gambler. I love it. <laughs> oh, he'll give you the Vegas odds. Yeah, he will. Exactly what they were right there. Uh, Rick with a beautiful forehand up, not to be overlooked. A little bit out of position, but that's within Ricky range. Absolutely. Uh, Eagle is just going to be laying up for the par here after that roller didn't go like he planned. That'll play. Yep, taking a par and moving on. AJ after his lefty forehand roller. I think he did that both rounds as well. <laughs> kind of like hole two repeating himself. Really? Yeah. Pitch is up for a par. Rick, he's looking for a bird, though. Yes, he is. This is, what, 30 feet? Yep. About that. There's Ricky. Yeah, there is Ricky. There's no doubt on that putt. That was in the bottom of the basket. And here, here we go. This is four a stroke on Eagle. Take yeah. The, take that lead down to three. There it is, the first stroke that he's taken all round. Yep, he's finally on the plus side. Three strokes. That just doesn't seem that insurmountable. Not. We got an island hole coming up. We got the monster coming up. Uh huh. Yep. This thing is by no means locked up. AJ, he will be saving his par here in a second. Seppo and Mario look on. Those, those Kurt Cobain glasses, man. He loves them. He can't stop talking about them. But to be fair, he's gotten so many compliments on those sunglasses. <laughs> Matty O. Matty O is a national treasure, dude. Yes, yes. He, yeah, he is. I'm, I'm lucky to be traveling around with him. We need that guy on tour full time. Love seeing him out there. Uh, Rick and Seppo with the birds. Most importantly, though, that lead is down to three. Are great that second shot from Seppo was so yeah so like, pretty man oh my goodness I I can't even put into words how difficult that was how clutch it was Island Hole Cat we got decision time for these players yeah decision time is right um I, I I don't know I think these guys are so good with their hyzers that they're all gonna be running it trusting that they'll at least cross in bounds all right um let's we'll see what they got for us Rick ripping out a Firebird. And he did not. He, he was running it. Yeah. He said he was. He's like, so that was a terrible shot that worked out perfectly. For sure. And that's that's the beautiful thing about the hyzer is if you mess up, a lot of times you will end up safe. Mm -hmm. And in a decent spot. Ricky's in Ricky range right there. What's Seppo going with here? Uh, this is his H1. 
Okay. Must be the perfect distance for it. Oh, that's so committed. 74 miles an it's hour. It's got to have good action, and it hits the chips. Oh, my gosh. It's inbounds. Just barely. On the curb, Kevin. That's safe, right? Oh, yeah. He's safe. Get hyped, man. Wow. This is such a big moment right here. Pressure's on Eagle. This could be a two-stroke swing. Is he laying up? That's an MD5. He's laying up. He is. I have not seen him do this. Yeah. I cool mean, play by Eagle. Makes sense. No. This is worst case scenario. Isn't it? Yeah. You just can't do that. But that's Eagle problems. <laughs> yeah. Just throwing it too far when you mean to lay up. Lay up. Sorry. And there is a funny story on this one. This is his uh, criminal for AJ. <laughs> funny story. Are you kidding I'll me? I'll tell you in a second. He's stuck in the tree right above the basket. <laughs> But apparently what? the last round he threw a distance driver and the spotter was all, I just throw a fairway this time. Next uh -huh. next time, AJ's like, all right. So he threw a fairway and he, and he parks did. it. Yeah. That's awesome. Rick for birdie though. Ricky. Yeah, that's, I mean, a little bit surprising, but give him a break. It's yeah. 35 feet. I know. Definitely not a gimme. This one is to save par though and to only lose one stroke to Seppo. Oh my He's goodness. He's lucky he hit that air ball that. No doubt, man. I mean, how hard is it to putt at a gallery like that? I mean, it, it's really, really that, hard, guys. <laughs> I can't imagine it makes it any easier at all. It takes a, a sense of zen, a sense of focus, and and trust. And you know what? All of a sudden, one stroke lead. The island hole is just huge, guys. This And this back nine also is so exciting when it comes down to the wire like this. <laughs> the crowd loved that one. Yeah. <laughs> AJ. AJ is such a... I love having AJ on a card I film, man. He's such a great hang. And he just has such good energy out there. Yeah. I can't believe that disc got stuck there. In a wild? Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. Last year, this is a big momentum swing for Eagle when he parked it. Yes, for you're birdie. right. And this year, it's the opposite with Seppo getting an Eagle slopping off. 100%. The bogey. One stroke lead, you guys. This is getting heated. We're looking at hole 13, Kev. Yeah, here we go. So we just played a huge separating hole. This hole also can act as the same. If Seppo steps up and parks this, we could see a tie ball game right here, like for sure. It's a good Seppo hole too. It is. He's going to throw a green D1. And he shapes a beautiful distance line. Yep, yeah, that's the greenie. Oh, it's turned. He just pro shanked that, Kev. Need yeah. A little, little hyzer on that release. And yeah. I mean, that was probably one of Seppo's ugliest tee shots of it, the tournament. It was. Yeah. He knows it. He'll tell you the same. Yeah, he's so pure. Like, unbelievable thrower of the disc. Yeah, that's an enforcer rip from AJ. And he put it under the basket last time and... Not much worse this time. Wow, powering through the tree. I really thought the right? tree messed that up, but that that had some juice on it. Yeah, that enforcer was moving. Rick is reaching for a star destroyer. This destroyer is so money from Rick. It's good stability. Yeah, flying perfect for him, and that punches through. Yeah, nice result, and that's just that's a good play by Rick. Is a powered shot, making sure he's gonna get basket high, and if you can get into that tree, you can have a putt. And an eagle disking down to a PD so it doesn't throw too far. And that's crazy. But he does, like, he throws this PD as far as people are throwing destroyers. When you throw it 79 miles an hour, it goes that far. That's probably why. Golly. It's going to have a pop for Bird. Get at least one of those strokes back he lost, Man. possibly. Yeah. With Seppo out of position. He's looking at this for a second. Yep, he's running this. That's totally a run. Yep. But he was ways out. Yeah, good run at that. That was like a 90-footer, huh? Yeah, it was. Good result, too, though. For sure. Uh, Ricky from In the Tree. Bang, bang. That's the beautiful thing about Ricky is he just missed a putt from that distance, but he doesn't care. He's going to put a sweet run on the next one, and he did, and found its way to the bottom of the basket. AJ also looking for a two. Good putt, AJ. <laughs> nice putt, AJ. He got this hole both rounds. Wow. That is... Yeah, that's really impressive. Here we go. Eagle, big moment right here. Yeah, trying to give himself a little breathing room. Yeah, he needs it really badly, honestly. Mm -hmm. 
momentum has definitely shifted out of that island hole. This is for a little bit of comfort. He's back. Beautiful. Look Beautiful. at him shaking off that bogey. Yes. Great answer from Eagle. Championship mindset right there. Seppo nicely handing him his disc back. Yeah. Seppo's an absolute gent. Mm-hmm. And drops in the disappointing par, I'm sure, for him. He was looking for a birdie there. Um, that lead does go back to two, uh, but we got lots of golf left, especially with this monster par five coming up. Yeah, monster coming up. Separating hole. Three birdies again. Film this two rounds, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Three birdies on that hole. Wow, these guys throw far. That's for, that's for sure. It is big boy far. You can't, can't birdie on that one. You can't birdie that hole without throwing far. Yeah, we are about to see some rollers on this one, Kevin. You think? I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely roller plays to this right side fairway right here, ideally. Um, and then a lot of people also like to mash another roller. Um, as long as you're staying with an open run up on this hole, usually you can shape something. Trouble comes whenever you're stuck behind trees or in shrubbage. Um, nice, Seppo having some fun with his D2. Keeping it light, man. Yeah. He's got them skills. He's been hanging out with John Kirkland too much. <laughs> <laughs> he is a he's definitely a frisbee boy. He is right. He loves. He just loves disc golf. Man. I know. I love that about him. This is a beautiful havoc roller from AJ. Putting it on the AM pad. Nice. That's a great spot to be. It's a yeah. Really open gap. Yes. It's a well executed shot. Pretty much all you want to do. Ricky is reaching for a star wraith for his roller. Yeah, he's. I think Ricky's going for a three on this hole, even even if it's kind of unrealistic. So funny. He hated that off the tee. He thought it went into the bushes. It looked like it was headed there, it did, if you yeah. ask me. Yeah, yeah. I barely missed him, so it's understandable. Eagle. Okay, go radar right. gun got 86 miles an hour on this one. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, um,. <laughs> so so what do we do about this Ian? Yeah, is this uh, official or is this like so high that it's questionable that, that, that's what we said <laughs> so we asked eagle after the round he's like i threw that one as hard as i possibly could and that was a pd2 that flipped over so we're gonna so call it legit aren't we let's call it legit man i think that's fair man something went 86 miles an hour yeah some there's something mm, tough tough result for seppo right there yeah. being behind that tree but um, what I was going to say is there's something about ripping over on a roller that maybe you can get get some more speed. Yep. So AJ going roller, roller with that Havoc again, and this is beautiful. It is just fine grass. Bingo. Nice job, AJ. For an eight-foot second shot after a 400-plus foot drive. Nice. That's really cool information to know. He's in position for the birdie. Yes. We make another good one. Love Getting hype with the caddy. Dig it. Do you know who's on his bag? I don't know who that is, no. Awesome local, I assume. Rick going forehand for the second shot. Oh, that's fighting. That's such a big forehand. Not uh, not that many people can go flick on the second shot in order to get in birdie position. Yeah, you got to have a mean one. Yes. This guy also has a mean forehand. Probably the meanest. I think this is a cloud breaker, though. This is unreal. So far. I just hope people are understanding what they're seeing. 414 on a hyzer. Super cash. Yeah, it was casual. And there's that Matteo advantage. Yeah, talking up a line right here. Man. Seppo really needs to cover ground. This is a M4 roller. I mean, he did the best he could. It goes 160, which is better than just pitching out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're not wrong. It does hurt a little bit in the grand scheme, though. Yeah, it takes birdie out of out of a legitimate oh play unless you do something like what this looks like but still needs some love and some crazy action this was so pretty yeah that's a huge shot that should make his up and down for par pretty yeah he's jump putting at it yeah how far was that one it was four sixty four eighty something like that yeah at least yeah ricky with that destroyer a little stable here yeah he put on a lot of hyzer and it does not do what he wanted to do there. Not the desired result from Rick. He definitely that's that was birdie position. Honestly, I'm surprised to see Rick mess that up. Yeah, he had two great shots. Oh, AJ finds a little bit of tree on his third, takes the birdie out of out of play. Yep. Eagle though, still in birdie position. We can execute this shot. PD two. You got it. 
Dang. Oh my goodness, that's huge. Another opportunity to get a stroke on Seppo unless Seppo can hit a big one. Oh, that's so awesome from Eagle right there. Getting a four on this hole in the situation is crucial. So well played. That is AJ's fourth, I believe. That's a good upshot from AJ. That's actually kind of tricky upshot. It is. That was Rick's fourth. He gave it a bid for the birdie, and Seppo needs this from 75. Oh, for an yeah, unreal birdie. That was a great bid. Yeah, I love it. I love the bid. Uh, AJ's going to try and save a par here. AJ threw one, two, three, like, really good shots and still had to make a putt for mm -hmm. par. Yeah. This hole is the most legit par five on tour, I feel like. Yeah, I love how creative you can get with it, how many options there are. You can go backhand, sidearm, backhand roller, forehand roller, like... You name it. Usually you see a couple eagles every round from every par five out out there. On tour, yeah. you know, not this one. No. If somebody eagles this one, it'll be talked about for a long, long yeah. time. It's a throw in. It's not a putt. Yep. Uh, speaking of good putts, though, eagle. Stroke on the card, and more importantly, pushing that lead out to three. Whew. This strokes are flying all over the place, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, they sure are. When you, when you do stuff like what eagle did right there, bury this par five, you get strokes, they come to you. And we still have all these holes left that are just as separatable. Like they, they can do the same exact thing. So, so, so true. Uh, there is that three stroke lead, AJ Rick kicking it. We'll see what Seppo can do with a couple left to go and we'll kick it off to our sponsors. Love getting outside and challenging yourself to become better? How about spending time with family and friends or just marveling at the pure joy of flight? Then you've come to the right place at the right time. Join the PDGA. All right, guys, we are back to the action. Huge, huge thanks to Prodigy Disc as well as the PDGA. We got 15, 16, 17, 18 coming up. Let's see if Seppo can reel an eagle. Let's go. Hole 15, 400 feet. Tweener hole for these guys, right in between mid range and fairway. Eagle going instinct. It's a little low, but he put so much juice on it. No. He's, I think he's like 41 feet out. That's a sketchy putt. It is. With that mounded green, not friendly. AJ, reaching for an explorer here. This is a stable one. It is, honestly, it really is. Yeah. He just didn't get the turn he needed on that one. Had the perfect distance, though. Ricky. That is a champion T-Bird 3. Okay, cool. He's been throwing a red one, but this is a new one. I guess so. Flies really good for him. He's got a putt. It's a long one. But you know he's going to run it because it's Ricky. Seppo. H3v2? Yes, I believe. Or H1v2, one of the two. Mm, should be H3. H3. Yeah. And he's got a look. A look is – that's all right. Being yeah. in the situation, at least he's got a putt. Yeah. AJ, 43 to the pin, gives it a bid, fades out early. Because at this point, Seppo's not laying up anything. No, he is not. Ricky misses a putt, and Eagle just lays up. Yeah, Eagle knows the situation – Three more holes, 16, 17, 18 left after this. He knows that the only chance that Seppo's going to have is if he makes this dangerous putt. So pressure's on. It is. <laughs> awesome putt from Seppo. A little step putt, jump putt. Staring at that huge gallery. Yeah. What? At the gallery, the focus Man. was impeccable right there. Nerves of steel from that guy. Yeah. AJ with a good comeback here, not to be overlooked. And Rick will drop in, as will Eagle. Eagle settles for par. It does cost him a stroke, um, but at least it's not two. 
Right. You know, easy. You could have easily gone past that one and missed the comebacker. Yeah, I think Eagle made the correct game time decision there. Totally agree with you. Get this one, Seppo. Ooh. Man, that thing danced for a second. That's so awesome. He put it up on the pole and just kind of let it fall in. Luckily, it had just enough. Got that stroke back. He lost on 13 to the gang there as he takes a stroke on the card. More importantly, just two back eagle, three yeah. to go, and they're all big-time holes, Kevin. Yes, they are. Hole 16 takes an executed tee shot around those two trees. If you can do that, you can get up and have a sidearm approach onto this beautiful green. Um, usually, for the normal human, if you miss if you miss the gap and hit these guardian trees off the tee shot, it usually takes birdie out of play. No, that's where Seppo is headed, and yikes, that is so, so not good for the situation. He knows it. Oh, man, so disappointed right there. Yeah. Eagle, looks like a PD2, just casual 67. You can tell he's really working on placement there, not trying to do anything too much, and that's what he needed to do. Yeah, awesome shot. Eagle's in perfect striking position for the birdie. Yep. Looking at a forehand up to the green, most likely, with his monster forehand. Such a luxury. <laughs> Pat looks a little his nervous. His dad is stressed <laughs> behind him, man. Oh, my gosh. I love oh, that. That's one of my favorite reactions out so far. I know that if my dad was in Pat's position, he would be just as nervous, if not more. Man, you care so much, but there's nothing you can do about it. You just yeah. got to watch. Oh, my gosh. Watch and hope. I feel you, Pat. Uh, AJ with that mango enforcer puts it out there beautifully. We got a champ max from Ricky. Yeah, they're going force over flex here. I, th I think three of them did that. Even yeah. Seppo did that as well. Mm -hmm. It opens the gap up as wide as it can be. I'll put uh, 430, 432 foot drive there from Ricky. Puts him in prime position for the birdie. And Seppo, what is he going to do from back here? I think he can just lay up. Oh, no, he well, he's kind of laying up, but he throws through that gap on a crazy hyzer. He made some serious headway. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he really made that par easier than it, it could have been. Yeah, you're not wrong. He was in a sticky situation. Eagle going huge flick. PD2. Little long. I, you know, it oh. looked long. He really roped that thing for, for how good his drive was. Usually you don't have to throw that hard whenever you have a pure drive. Doing Seppo a little bit of a favor there. No doubt. This is a goby from AJ that's going in a little too early. Slip in there. Yeah, there's, respectable. There's a fun putt from over there. Yeah. Hopefully you can hit it. Rick, after a monster drive with that max, going forehand for the up. Doing Rick things. That filters so beautifully. Yeah, he is parked for the birdie. Is the PA1? Yeah. Definitely. Or the A2? I yeah. think it's the PA1. Yeah, I think so too. They, look the, they are the same color. Yeah. But that, I mean, put it under the basket. Yeah, that's the perfect scramble for Seppo. AJ leaving that a little bit left hand side is going to par. And Eagle out of position for the birdie after that up. Um, forced to lay it for the par. Yes, he is. So, so Seppo doesn't lose a stroke despite the early tree hit. Yeah, nothing doing here. Seppo still, I'm sure, is a little disappointed. But scrambling the way he's scrambling is the reason that he's in the position that he's in right now. He's not letting these errant tee shots affect a score at all he's getting up and down You're for par so right by that we've seen that all tournament long yeah he just shakes him off and just throws a great next shot yeah he's had an incredible mental game this whole event and the last event too yeah so everybody else dropping in par rick with the solo bird there getting a stroke on the gang and ripping that max maxes are so overstable and the fact that he can keep it on annie for more than 50 feet it just shows you how hard rick throws yes it does Yes, it does. He throws so hard. What you know? What his fastest clocked throw was? I think we've got him like seventy six or seventy seven. Okay, he, he he's up there in big boy territory for sure. His Imagine. discs just go too. I think he puts uh -huh. some incredible spin on it. Also, yeah, he does. Hole seventeen. There's a couple different plays, and there is a safety play with the forehand off to the right. Which curious to see if Eagle uses that. Yeah, Eagle. I would expect that he very well might do that, but. Then again, he throws what to me seems like a really safe backhand shot that he can get a birdie look at. True. So he might be considering it. Rick going high, catching some lettuce. Not 
not a huge mistake. Wow. That wasn't punished as bad as it could have been. No. If that kicks any earlier, then he's uh, definitely going to have to be scrambling. Seppo, big shot right here. Is he going to go high? He is, oh, but no. it's inside with his X1. He needed to hit it flat or on a slight ante. And that went way back in the forest. Man. Kevin. He is like up by that huge tree up there. That's so much trouble right there. It is. Here is the safety play. This is the Nate Sexton play. I wonder if uh, Seppo's shot changed what Eagle was going to do. Oh, I bet you're right. I, I, yeah, I don't yeah. know. It, it very well might have been, you know, Eagle knowing Seppo is at three at best here. Mm -hmm. AJ with the Mango Enforcer. That's a decent shot. It is. Nothing too crazy. If he wants to, to push the basket, he's got to throw much more over stable to get some skip finish. So here is where Seppo is for a second. This has bogey. Or double written all over it. Yeah, it does. Oh, he almost got out from there. That can't be that close. No, he is not. That's really bogey best case. And Eagles jump putt up. Kevin, that's not good. That honestly was easy to miss, actually. Yeah. That put him at 29 feet, huh? Yeah. You want to be a lot closer, especially when you're laying up what? off the drive. What is going on? Yeah. So there's some meat on on the bone right now. Mm -hmm. Seppo looks. Seppo's looking for it best, like you said. Whoa, Ricky almost right? tossed that one right in. So good. Dad, I don't know how it didn't go in. He has a line though. Seppo he, has a line. He does, but oh, good luck, Seppo. How far is this? Forty-five feet. We got it on the rangefinder. Oh my goodness, it was so pure. Out of the forest he comes. <laughs> he did. He right? Pops out of the trees. That was so huge. Seppo's doing everything he can right now. He's fighting so hard. Here's Eagle to maintain his two stroke lead. This is it. Makes this is pretty much over. Kevin. He did not leave it short. He didn't leave it short. They didn't put it in either. No. And all of a sudden, Kevin, we got one to go. And Eagle has a one-stroke lead. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So much pressure going on in the situation right now. One hole left. Hole 18. A, a, a difficult birdie. Just it, a tricky birdie. It really is. And if you can solve this puzzle on 18, get a putt, cash in a birdie, it could be, it could be a playoff. <laughs> this beautiful slow-mo from Brian. Seppo. That was his flippiest PA3, his glidey PA3. Because he probably couldn't put much on it being no. all stuck in the woods. He just had to spin it and propel it as forward and straight as he can. Unbelievable. Yes, that's that's the word. Here we go. Hole 18, 360. There are a couple options. Seppo has been doing a very tight spike hyzer that's been leaving him around 30 to 40 feet. Um, if he can execute that shot right now, he would. It'd be great to have that putt. Um, we'll see what he's got. Yeah, he's got to make up one stroke. He's this got is one hole to do it. Ricky's showing us the other line of choice with a overstable S curve. He Firebird. got yeah, Firebird. That's a great play for this hole. A little bit too much turn for him there, and I don't think he's going to be putting. I like that line a lot. Yeah, it's a really cool line to see. Seppo X one. X1 because it's so overstable. It's not even going to go left. It's just going to go straight down, which is what he needs. And this thing is way up in the air. I can't even tell. Like That's where it is. Wow. He is 35 feet out. He did it. So he executed his game plan, leaving himself with a putt. This is where practice pays off, ladies and gentlemen. That is a criminal from AJ. It punches through. Nice. Yeah, good result there. Uh, pressure on Eagle right now, though. Eagle, big time shot. He could end this by parking this hole he's going pd i think he's going this size max actually oh okay okay he has they look exactly the same okay they, but they fly wildly differently thankfully um uh, but he, he still he changed his game plan he's always went with the flippy mid on that oh you're right so i, I don't know what, what what he was feeling differently maybe he knew this was a safer play right before this he was, pat's all just make him make a putt so he lays up he's gonna put the pressure on wow. Seppo. Wow, really? Yep. That's what went on right there? That's what happened. Rick almost makes that amazingly. AJ to finish with a birdie from 44. Oh. 
That would have been a really cool finish for AJ. And here we are. This Seppo is it. for the two to force a playoff. Oh. Initially, it actually looked like it had a good chance. Yeah, just not quite enough velocity on that thing. Oh, man. What an effort put in by Seppo. What a tournament played by Seppo also. I mean, man. So impressed by his play. Yeah, you have to be. He putted incredibly throughout the whole event. He was throwing the disc incredibly. Man, he's going to be proud. He should be very proud. Came up just one stroke short of Eagle, who was just absolutely incredible this whole tournament. And Eagle comes through with the big win. At no point was he out of this, out of control of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Even from round one, shooting a nine under, he had the tournament in his hands the whole time. Just played good golf, safe golf, never got in too much trouble, made all his putts, and he's your 2019 Beaver State Fling champion. And after Portland Open, the way that went down, to see this and see him get the victory was really nice. Yeah, it really is. You know, big, big win here for Eagle. Man, got to mean so much to him. Repeating his champion of Beaver State Fling, that's not easy, Kevin. No, not at all. This tournament always comes down to the wire. It's always a really close finish. We almost saw a playoff this year. Yeah, it's, it happened a lot out here. So there is that one stroke lead for Eagle, or sorry, win for Eagle over Seppo. Uh, Ricky Conrad getting into fourth there. Simon with a nice showing. This was so much fun to watch, Ian. Man, thanks so much for coming on. Yeah, my pleasure. I hope you guys really enjoyed this battle. This is one of the coolest finishes of the year, if you ask me. What a great back nine. Yeah, so exciting. Cool. All right, guys, that is all we got from Beaver State Fling. Tons more content coming this year. A huge, huge thanks to you and Seppo for joining me for commentary the whole time. It was just a pleasure having you on, man. Well, it's our pleasure being here, and we'd love to do it more. That would make it happen. You guys both signed some more discs, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for a chance to win one of those. And I could not get out of here without thanking my amazing crew. Wow, we had Peter Amares and Pablo Stubbs that grinding out that edit. Uh, Brian Geis with all that beautiful slow-mo. Alex Olgin on the catch cam. Mo Barani on the react. Sean Glassford out in the fairway with that beautiful fairway cam. Uh, Brian and Ben, the radar and the range are getting all that good data for you. Uh, Darren was our productivity czar, and Corey was here for emotional support when we needed him. And I got to thank the amazing staff at the Beaver State Fling. Jeff Haggerty, Jeff Middle, and their crew do such an amazing job. Uh, Prodigy Disc, as well as the PDJ, for making this coverage possible. I had to bring a lot of dudes I could not have done without them. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll catch you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.